Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create business cards on Vistaprint. If you just started a business or if you already have one, then you know just how important business cards are and networking with people and sharing your contact information so someone can call you if they need your services. The last thing you want is for a potential client or customer to ask you for your card and you just stand there empty handed. Business cards should be simple and if you're looking for a quick, easy and inexpensive way to create them, then this is the right video for you. We're going to be using Vistaprint, which is one of the largest and most affordable printing services online. So let's get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to do is go to vistaprint.com and I'm going to leave a link in the description and I'll include any discount code if it's available. Now that we're here, it's going to show us different products that they offer. So we're going to click on business cards. So once that loads, you'll see a bunch of information on their business cards and you'll see that you have the option to choose between standard, premium and specialty. So the standard is starting at $100 for $18. Uh, premium is 100 for 25 and specialty is 100 for $30. So for the sake of this video, we're going to go with the standard. You'll also see that you have three options for designing your card. And that's you could browse their designs. You could upload your own design or you could work with a designer. So if you choose the option to work with a designer, Vistaprint will actually offer design services where you can get help designing a product at no additional cost or you can hire a freelance designer through their partner company, 99designs. This is a great option for people that may not have the time to design their own business card, and maybe they're just busy in their business, but it is pretty easy to create your own. So I'm gonna show you how to create your own now. So under standard, we're gonna click get started and we're gonna start designing our card. So Vistaprint actually has hundreds of designs for you to choose from if you don't want to start from scratch. And this makes it really easy for you because all you have to do is enter your company name and details. And as you can see, the list just goes on and they have hundreds of pages for you to choose from that are filled with designs. So what we're going to do is just choose one of these. Let's say I like this design. I could edit my design. And then from there, I'm going to plug in my own company's information and details. So they're going to load that design up for you in the editor. And all you have to do is enter your information in the field. So let's say I put my stuff in. So once you enter your information, you'll see that you'll have a nicely designed card and you can either just leave it like this and just create it right now, or you could tinker with it. Like you can move this or let's say you want to change it all together and delete it. You could do that and put something new there. You could change where the text is. You could play with the font and the colors. So this gives you a really good base that you could start and edit with or you can really just leave it as it is if you really like the design and you don't have the time. And just like that, you can create a business card in just like two to three minutes just by entering in your information and choosing one of their designs. Let's say you don't wanna use one of their designs and you wanna create one of your own so that you can make it exactly the way that you envision it. So what you're gonna do is from this page, instead of choosing one of their designs, you're gonna click upload your design. I'm gonna click standard. And then this is going to open up the editor for me. So from here, they're basically going to give you a blank canvas where you can create your own design. They'll also give you the option to upload your own design if you created it on another third party editor instead. So you have that option as well. But for the sake of this video, we're going to be using the editor within Vistaprint. So as you can see, you have text here. You can enter a new text field and you have all different options for font and color. You could upload your images over here, or you can discover different images and kind of search stuff up from their stock footage. Uh, they have shapes for you, QR codes, tables, and a bunch of different tools that you could use. So I'm gonna make my design now and show you how it turns out.
All right, guys, so here's my design and I'm a real estate agent. Your design is probably going to be different depending on what business you're in, but you have your front and your back. And uh, as you're designing it, you want to be mindful of this line over here, the proofrated line, because that's where it's going to cut off. So you just want to be mindful of that as you're creating your image. And uh, now we're all complete. So I'm just going to click next. And uh, you do want to make sure, too, that your design is exactly the way that you want it because there's no going back. So just verify over here. They give you a nice demonstration of your card. So I'm going to click off that everything looks great and I'm going to continue. So final steps, they're going to ask you for your thickness. I'm going to stick with the standard uh, paper stock. I'm going to go with the glossy, but you have some options to choose from. And then I'm going to keep with the standard corners. And then you could say your quantity here. And here you could see the prices. So for 100, it's 26. 250 is 36. 500 for 42. And you could see the price per unit um, on the side as well. So I think we're going to go for a thousand of these uh, at $64. And then we're going to add it to the cart. So from your car, you're just going to check out as you normally would. And the shipping is going to vary based on where you're located from. I'm going to leave the link in my description once again for Vistaprint. And if there's any discount or promotion that they're running, so you could use that as well. Thanks for watching today's video on how to create business cards using Vistaprint. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're on a budget and you want to know how you can create business cards for free at home, then definitely watch this video over here. And if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe and I'll see you soon.